Hello guys, now I will tell you to how to make a simple proximity sensor or a IR sensor. All you need is only a battery like this and some cables and a proximity sensor and a breadboard. This is called a breadboard. This is a, my battery and this is my proximity sensor. You can see here. There are two lights. One is the transfer, one is the transistor, and one is the receiver. And GND is for the minus terminal for the battery, and VCC is for the positive terminal of the battery. OP is the output, and this is the LED sensor. Now I will start connecting the cables to this, and the first will I have a take like this cable. You can see it this cable yes okay so I can take the these cables I can take black color for the GND means minus terminal and red color for the positive terminal VCC okay I will collect connect it like this okay I have connected VCC and I am connected GNT okay I am gonna conne I have connected then I will connect, connect these wires in this breadboard. Okay, I have chosen red wire for the positive and black wire for the negative. So in the breadboard. Okay, now I am connected the black wire and the red wire in the breadboard. And this I have to connect like this. Okay, I have connected. You can see it. And these wires are connected into the proximity sensor. You can see it clearly. Okay. Then I will connect my battery. Like this. This is my battery. And I will connect this into this. Okay. And these wires. One positive and one negative. Red is for the positive and black is for the negative. I am connecting this into like this and like this. And my proximity sensor is activated. You can see. And yay. Yes, this is the proximity sensor. When some objects in the in the line of this transistor and the receiver comes it is activated and you can see some light in one in the one light this is UV light which is only visible by the camera it is not visible by the naked eye and this LED which shows is that any object or not this LED will also give some outputs which can be used in motors or any other things okay so now I have to disassemble it and goodbye.